Hey love bugs, this is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. TGIF is Friday. Starting off a new week. It's starting off a new weekend. I mean, it didn't even feel like Friday to me. I had to double check to make sure it was Friday. I was like, what's today's day? Everything has been moving so fast this week so I'm just like well you know whatever <laughs> but anyways I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I sure hope the same for you I hope you had a very blessed prosperous prosperous week I know I have learning experience a, a, a long way um and if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. It's a very positive channel of learning about different things of aspects of your life, the spiritual characteristics, bettering yourself. Um, you know, uh, basically anything positive just to push out because it's just, you know, going through things of traumatic childhood abuse. Uh, adult abuse, you know, learning how to let go of traumatic things and stuff like that. I love to put that on my channel and press, press as much love, good vibes, and positivity as possible. So, it, it's just, you know, that's what my, my channel is about. So, hopefully you enjoy what you what you hear and resonate with what, what I'm putting out there. And you like and subscribe and you know and make sure you be able to hit that notification button so you know when I'll be able to upload my next videos. Um, I always try to push as mo a, a abundance of motivational and inspirational and positive vibe messages out all the time. So if you feel free, go ahead and drop a comment line or two, whatever. If you feel comfortable enough to share, I always love to comment on uh i mean reply on the comments that i also get and i really appreciate that and that's you know i'm very grateful for that and much love and i'm glad you stopped by my channel and for my returning subs my extended extra fam much love to you love and light many blessings and many more blessings are yet to come for you and today my video about is one twin flame 101 hey Oka's Allow the, the value of your principles help others. You know, there's so many things that we go through. And um, I'm having issues with this music. I don't know what it is. I just bought a phone, another phone. My phone had cracked, and they brought me another one. And it's like it keeps pausing my music. I don't know if I got to reset it or update it or what. But, yeah, the last two videos, I do apologize, especially for the thank you videos. I was so happy when I woke up and I found I had over 10, 10K in views. And then messed up my video because I, I got my sound bar where I listen to my music and I love to blast it in my foyer and just dance around. But I thought I can go ahead and record through it too and didn't know that I've been uploading like two and three videos and didn't realize that it didn't have any sound to it so i do apologize that so if i did not respond to your comments um on that video i deleted it and went ahead and made another one so and then i got mad because when i went ahead and uploaded it the new one i didn't realize i i didn't erase it and um didn't erase it and accidentally uploaded the same one that I was trying not to load in the first place so I do apologize for that but yeah you know value allow your values and um, just to allow your values and principles to you know help others you know we go through so much and there's so many people out there that doubt themselves and doubt their abilities about things that they go through and stuff like that um the music that i'm trying to listen to before i get into that is 528 hertz whole body uh regeneration uh uh full body healing physical and emotional you know emotional cleansing um i really try to especially the things that i relate to i really try to meditate too because i feel like when we are around so many people we attract so much different energy and it's like sometimes even though people can be buttholes i try to go ahead and push out 
as much love possible. You know, even when I say hello to people, some people give me like a smart little mark and just look at me like, whatever, I'm just, well, God bless you anyway. So, um, you know, I'm just like, okay, you know, I'll just, it is what it is. So it, it's just like, just keep pushing on. It's just, regardless on how people are, you know your character. You know what I'm saying? And it's sometimes it's hard to realize that at times. And we try to understand why are people so mean? Why are they this way? Why do they act that way? And um, and it, it, it's just like, it's hard to understand. And it's just like when I am going through my, um, I had a discussion with my ex yesterday. And I really poured my heart out. And I just told him, I don't understand. I really try to wrap my mind around why people go out their way just because you're hurting and you know how unfair it feels why you're hurting why would you push that out on other people when people are trying to help you you know that's not that doing nothing but blocking your blessings and i try not to block my blessings and that's one thing you do you know and it's hard not to do that when people are going out their way to do stuff to you or whatever try try to just not take it personal and I, I even sometimes I'm like you know I get mad I'll get ticked off real quick and I'm just like you know what they gotta really be seriously going through some stuff for me for, for you to want to take it out on me and sometimes people take it out on the closest person to them the one they love the most and I had to learn that there's so many things that you know I, I just found you know that you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm evolving. I'm reflecting on a lot of things that, you know, I didn't realize that so many people, um, that I connect with, you know, there's so many things that's going on. I had, um, a friend of mine that just came up in my thoughts that, you know, I was going to make it when I was making my video yesterday, it didn't come through. Um, they're doing missionary work. And I'm trying to spread that viral. You know, there's so many disasters that's going on right now. They're in Puerto Rico right now. And they're helping with the churches. The churches are are, are, uh, are really messed up. You know, there's there's houses and stuff that's messed up. There's very, really, really bad disasters. And I know I grabbed my heart the other day. And me and him, we have known each other since we were like, 15 or 16 years old, he's always been like a, a brother that I can talk to him about anything, and he was very spiritual, and um, stuff like that, so it was like he came into my, my, my thoughts, and I seen some things that I can feel like, um, you know, there's things that sat in my heart that I wish that I can unsee, but I know they weren't my thoughts. And I know lately my gift has just been opening up a lot. And, you know, I called him and I was already needing a prayer for myself because, you know, when we go through these battles, you know, even though we pray for ourselves, you know, that extra prayer, it never hurts for an extra prayer, especially when you know it's true and it's genuine because some people, they will pray for your downfall. And there's sometimes it's like when I really, and it's sad when you really want to talk to somebody and you really can't because some people are really try to act sincere, but in the back of their mind, they're like, oh, I hope that never comes out for her. You know, I don't, you know, because it's just like, even though like on my, my page there, sometimes I'll go throw back Thursday and then I'll put pictures up that me and my dad, I didn't even know that we were wearing the same hairstyle and stuff like that. And people are like, oh my God, you look just like your dad. And sometimes even die, thank you. You know, that even warmed my heart. I didn't even notice I was looking like my dad that day. But it's just me being me. And it's, it's like, you know, I always try to press out as much positive love, always. You know, even though I have my moments where, you know, I can I can be a little aggravated or whatever and cop an attitude and I try not to be like that all the time. But we're human. We have days that are not going to be good. We're going to have days that, you know, things are not going to go right. But, you know, you got to keep pushing. You got to go. You got to think. You know the positive aspects what am i getting out of this what what you know the things that god puts in our life and it's not always god that's doing this because because sometimes we're like you know my child's died you know if, if this you know if this was like you know um you know if it, this is god's will why would he take my child away and it half the time it doesn't have nothing to do with god but then 
look at the long road that happened. You know, you open up so many doors for people to open up their eyes, and it, it's sad when it has to take, you know, a child to die. You know, just a few months ago, I was talking about this baby. Um, I, I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, he had passed away. Uh, I think his name was Kyle, Caleb. I think his name was Caleb. And he was a very beautiful boy, and he's been fighting uh, some kind of rare cancer that, you know, his, you know, they were trying to find all kind of fun means and trying to find ways to help him out. But, you know, he was so full of life. And then this, he fought a good fight. And, you know, he passed away at a very early age. I think he was like four or five. And it's just still thinking about that touches my heart. Because when you're a mom, that's the worst thing you want to do is bury your child. And, but it was just so many people that opened up pages for him. You know, people donated money for the family, you know, wanting to help donate more. And, it, and that's the things that I'm talking about. It's just like with my dad's death, you know, um, even though I, I, you know, I try to explain to myself and wonder, you know, why did this happen to me? Why, you know, I know God would not take something from me and not try to bless me with something bigger. You know, there, you know, I see people doing beautiful things. Like I was talking to my friend, um, Benny and his dad, and they're, you know, in Puerto Rico and they're doing all this missionary work. And I told them I'm going to make it viral. I'm going to go ahead and make a video about it and let people know, you know, if anything you're reading about when it comes to Vietnam, Panama, uh, Puerto Rico, you know, anything you can help with or, you know, if you know anybody that can help out there, it will greatly be appreciated. And, you know, and I told them from the bottom of my heart, you know, just the prayers because they've been there for my life and they know that I've been through a lot of things, but they just didn't know about the situation with my father. And they were like, oh, my gosh, just putting two and two together. So it's just, you know, going through all that, the things that I've gone through, you know, really humbled me. So when I know when I get my moment, I will never forget how I got there, you know, who left me, who stood by my side, you know, my down, my down days, my up days, my days where I cried tears of joy, people that came to my, my videos and left me positive comments, you know, just praying for me and, you know, wishing me well and, you know, all those things touch my heart, you know, and that's why I always try to go out and do my, my thing, it's just like, you know, I, you know, I've still been going to everybody's pages, and still haven't got reached to everything, you know, helping my grandbabies, and, you know, spring cleaning, and it, it's just been so crazy for the last few days, and I was talking to my friend yesterday, and it was just crazy, I don't know if I mentioned that, because I know I tried to do this video about three or four times, so if I, if I, uh, if I mentioned again, I apologize when I said that 1313, because when she had looked at me a certain way, I was just like, oh my goodness, it's crazy, because first when we went to her house, you know, um, she always nicked her, nicknamed her son Prince, and he looks like my dad, and look, he looks like one of my cousins, I think it's my Aunt Edna's son, and I was showing her a picture of my, my grandmother, uh, Maddie, and my Aunt Edna, and there was this boy, and I think that was her son, I'm not sure. And she was like, why does her, why does he look like my son? And I never realized that. But then on the same aspect, and when you look at her, she looks like Della Reese. And I started nicknaming, especially when she started talking all crazy, like Della Reese from Harlem Nights. And I love that lady, God rest her soul. I would have loved to meet her because she, she looked like she a bold laugh, but she'll tell you the truth. And I always called her Suge. I said, what was her name? And I'm like, all right, Suge, you keep on messing with me. I'm going to shoot you in your pinky toe. You better leave me alone. And so we were just having fun. It was just so many connections. And it's just finding out, you know, people that she, you know, that's related to her knew my dad and all these things and stuff like that. So you're just, some, you never know, you know, just for me knowing her for like three or four years, I'm just now finding this stuff out. And it, it's just a good thing when you're able to push out so much love and positivity and help out people because you never know, you know, they're going through their days. And it was like yesterday, it just seemed like, 
you know, I didn't get a chance to make my videos the way I wanted to or whatever, but, you know, I was helping out people, you know, they were going through their stuff and I was trying to just not deal with mine for a minute and just go ahead. So, you know, I slacked up a little bit, but I do apologize. I'm back. But I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of more videos. I'm trying to stop making them so long because I know people don't really like listening to long videos like that. So I do apologize. But when I feel like I'm in my spirit and the spirit guys tell me to talk, I always pray before I do my videos. And, then, and I ask them for the wisdom and the love and the light they want me to say. And I, they, they say, okay, there you go. So I do. So I hope you like and subscribe. Drop a, a, a couple of lines or two. It will greatly be appreciated for the positive com comments, feedback, whatever you want to call it. And thumbs up, share if you, you feel free to hit me up. Email me if you have any any questions or any advice that you want to. You can pri private message me on YouTube. Um, I'm still, I still have not got a chance for the Facebook thing because I really don't be on Facebook too much. It's just like... Um, it is like so many pages that I deal with right now, especially with when it comes to my dad. It's like sometimes it's overwhelming and sad. So I really don't get on Facebook too much. So I'm like dividing like should I do this? But I know it will help out so many so many people. So I am contemplating on that. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it because if it's for the greater good, I'm gonna go ahead and just go past the fears and know that things are gonna be okay. So I will talk to you later. Keep me in my prayer keep you in my prayers and I hope you keep me in yours. And I will talk to you later. Much love and have a blessed weekend. Whatever you do responsible. While out, get lit, whatever you wanna do. Much love. Peace and be wild.